very good morning dear students we have already started unit number 6 of biochemistry this unit is mainly deals with another important biomolecules that is very essential in the biological system that is known as lipids or fatty acids as i said lipids are the most important biomolecules that provides high quantity of energy than carbohydrate and protein provides in the body and because of this one the lipids or fatty acid commonly act as the storage form of energy in the body and in the previous class we have seen the overview of this unit what are lipids and what are fatty acids and all that kind of information we have discussed then we are going to discuss in details about each topic whatever we have uh, given an overview in the previous class the first topic mentioned in unit number 6 of your syllabus fats and fatty acids their nomenclature of lipids and uh, fats so first we are going to discuss the fats and fatty acid then we are going to discuss what is the rules and regulation for the naming of lipids and fatty acid that is nomenclature of fatty acid and as you all know lipids as i said this is one of the important constituents in the diet and uh, this is act as the high energy components 1 g of lipid can constitute approximately 9.2 to 9.6 kcal of energy but in the case of carbohydrates or protein it will be between 4 and 5 kcal per energy then this is an excellent source of vitamins because some of the vitamins are soluble in fat that is known as fat soluble vitamins okay the other class is water soluble vitamins and these are there are certain fatty acid that is known as essential fatty acid that has to be synthesized in the that cannot be synthesized in the body that should be supplied through the diet and the fat serves as effective source of energy and which is stored in the adipose tissues okay and i told you this act as an insulating material in the subcutaneous tissue of some organism and like we have discussed this lipids can also form molecular conjugate with proteins and carbohydrate and if it is forms a molecular conjugate with carbohydrate that is known as glycolipids and if it is formed the molecular conjugate with protein such a kind of molecular conjugates are known as lipoproteins and in general this lipids are not classified as macro molecule and it, although they are having certain biological properties but later this study so the study of so many scientists they have uh, identified lipid as also one of the important uh, macro molecules and the fatty acids are hydrocarbon derivatives with a low oxidation state or highly reduced state as the carbohydrates in the fossil fuel and this commonly present in the fossil fuel so these are carbohydrate and their derivatives with a low oxidation state and a reduced state and that is commonly present in the fossil fuels and we are going to discuss the fundamental aspects of lipids lipids are heterogeneous group of components related with the fatty acid that includes fats oils wax and other related components so that is a definition of a lipids and these are oily or greasy organic substances which are insoluble in water but soluble in 
most of the organic solvent like uh, ether, chloroform and benzene like what we have discussed in the last class. And the term lipid, it is coined by a German biochemist uh, called uh, David Bloor in 1943 and he has given the detailed classification of lipid as well. And he identified uh, these components are the major component of tissue as well as food steps and this components have profound role in the body as a storage food material that provides energy whenever it is required and the chemical definition of lipids are they are the esters of glycerol and fatty acid or they are otherwise known as triglycerides okay that consisting of glycerol and uh, fatty acid and that forms a uh, triglycerides and the fats are fats may be defined as they are the esters of glycerol and uh, fatty acid or the triglycerides so that is what i have told here you are having a glycerol moiety ch2oh choh and ch2oh and you are having three fatty acid that is uh, C31H15COOH that is C31H15COOH C31H15COOH that is palmitic acid one of the important uh, uh, fatty acid and there are three fatty acid then what will happen there is a hydroxyl group here and in COOH group of the fatty acid the OH of OH from the COOH group and H from the glycerol will be interacted to form, uh, interacted and the release of water will take place by the activity of lipase enzyme. Then you can see the water will be released, from here also water is released and from here also water is also released. Then you can see CH2COO, there is an ester linkage formed and that is known as a tri palmitane or triglycerides okay and you can see the uh, glycerol part and the fatty acid part such a kind of components are known as fats and uh, this fats and fatty acid they are commonly classified into two groups so before we are discussing that fats are commonly available in solid forms and uh, uh, I mean oils are in the liquid form and the fatty acid generally they contains even number of carbon atom they generally consisting of even number of carbon atom and the carbon atom starting from 2 to up to 24 carbon atom can be present and these fatty acids are classified into different groups based on the degree of ice uh, unsaturation degree of the presence of double bond they are classified into saturated and unsaturated fatty acid and this unsaturated fatty acids are again classified into monosaturated fatty acid and polysaturated fatty acid then what are these fatty acid in that is saturated fatty acid saturated fatty acids are the fatty acid they are not having any double bond present in the carbon chain they don't have a, a double bond so that is not saturated then unsaturated means they are having double bond if that is if there is only one double bond is present in the carbon chain that is known as mono unsaturated fatty acid then if they are more than two or more than that double bonds are present then it is known as a poly unsaturated fatty acid and both this mono and poly unsaturated fatty acids are classified based on the configuration of the double bond how the double bond is present and where the double bond is uh, present based on that one they can exist as isomerism one is known as cis i mean double bond next one is trans double bond okay cis double bond is naturally occurring fatty acid generally contain cis double bond okay and the trans double bond are uh, the hydro hydrogenation convert the cis form into trans form okay that is known as the trans form similarly this uh, 
poly unsaturated also they are having a transform and a cis form okay then this poly unsaturated fatty acid based on the location of double bond they are classified into uh, omega 3 fatty acid and omega 6 fatty acid this is very very important omega 3 pass fatty acid okay and this poly unsaturated fatty acid is commonly known as PUSFA PUSFA okay poly unsaturated fatty acid and omega 3 fatty acids are the double bonds are commonly present in the three carbon away from the methyl group of the carbon J that is known as omega 3 okay so the example is linolenic acid there are total 18 carbon chain and three bonds that is known as 18 is to 3 that is the primary member of this particular omega 3 fatty acid then similarly you are having omega 6 fatty acid the first double bond is the sixth carbon away from the ch3 group of the carbon so that is example is linoleic acid 18 is to 2 is the primary uh, is the notation here okay so that are known as the i mean uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid and its classification then these are the some of the examples the uh, saturated fatty acids are mainly arachidic acid this is the chemical formula and the steric acid palmitic acid etc so here you can see palmitic acid there is a this can be represented like this also see double bond OH and you can see the zigzag uh, this is methyl group okay alkane chains okay so that is palmitic acid then mono unsaturated fatty acids such as uric acid and oleic acid okay so oleic acid is a mono saturated fatty acid here you can see, see double bond o co oh then you can see this side chain okay if it is simply if it is given that will be ch2 residues and why it is mono unsaturated fatty acid there is a double bond in the position of the chain only one double bond is present okay then polyunsaturated fatty acid, arachidonic acid, and the linoleic acid. Here you can see COOH, the carbo the fatty acid is a carboxylic acid group, and the long chain fatty acid. So here you can see here is a double bond, and here is also double bond. Multiple double bonds are present. That is known as polyunsaturated fatty acid. So this is the structural aspects of this saturated and unsaturated fatty acid. Then the simplest form of fat is known as triglycerides. I told you how it is produced. And it is produced by the condensation of glycerol and fatty acid. So glycerol you know that CH2OH, CHOH and CH2OH. Then you are having three molecules of fatty acid. CH3, CH2, 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 COOH. Similarly, CH3, CH2, 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 COOH. Then CH3, CH2, 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 COOH. So what will happen? As I said, there is a hydroxyl group from this particular uh, uh, carbon atom uh, that will be involved with this hydroxyl group. There is a formation of water will take place. In three position, the formation of water will take place and there is a bond, okay? And from one particular oxygen atom from this carboxylic acid group will be shared and this bond is known as ester linkage. Here you can see CH3, CH3, CH2, 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 COO, CH2, okay? And here we can see a bond and you can see this is triglyceride molecule, an excellent example of water. Uh, that is commonly present in the body the same things i have represented in some other form this is a glycerol the same thing and instead of this one you can re represent ch3 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 this you can represent like this ch3 ch2 ch2 like this you can represent and COOH. okay three molecule and there's a formation of a water will take place when it is combines the hydroxyl group of this glycerol with the three all the three end okay then finally you will be having the triglycerides okay then generally the glycerols combines with the fatty acid so what will happen first it will be uh, monoglycerides will be produced then one more fatty acid will be removed then two hydrogen atom will be water will be removed that is di i mean uh, uh, glycerides then the third step one more 
uh, water molecule will be removed then it is triglyceride it's a stepwise process so that is an excellent example of a uh, fats and uh, this we have already discussed the lipids are commonly classified into according to blow they are classified into three groups okay based on their chemical composition one is simple lipids or homolipids compound lipids or heterolipids and derived uh, lipids simple lipids as the name indicate they are simple that's commonly the fats and oils fats are soluble at room temperature okay they they are so, they are commonly mean uh, fats uh, that are there are commonly solid in nature and uh, oils are uh, liquid in nature they are triglycerides and triacylyl glycerol then waxes okay they are homo lipids only one type of uh, lipid moiety is present next one is het compound lipid uh, or heterolipids there are more more than one type of residues are present they are phosphatides or phospholipids or glycolipids or cerebrosides we will discuss in detail okay then the third one is derived lipids okay they are mainly terpenoids and carotenoids that but there are acylglycerol waxes phospholipids spingolipids glycolipids terpenoids such as carotenoids and uh, steroids so this we are going to discuss in detail in the subsequent uh, section then how the lipids are uh, uh, named okay what is the nomenclature of lipids and uh, fatty acid and the systematic naming of lipids are mainly based on genevan system okay there's a typical style is known as genevan system this genevan system is nothing but the fatty acid is named after the hydrocarbon with the same number of carbon atom which will be suffix oic okay oic is written in place of the final e instead of e okay it will be written oic say for example the name of saturated fatty acid ends with the suffix anoic okay and uh, those of unsaturated fatty acid the suffix end with the that is anoic okay linoleic okay so linolenic okay all those things okay so here the position of carbon atom in the fatty acid chain is interacted by numbering okay there we can see in which the which is the carbonyl carbon okay carboxyl carbon is the first carbon atom that will be numbered as 1 then adjacent to c1 then it c2 c3 etc this is one level of numbering okay c1 c2 c3 etc that will be the one one uh, things okay then similarly you are having the and uh, the carbon atom that is attached to that is uh, the c2 portion that we can call it as alpha then c3 beta and gamma so on okay this is the fundamental rules for the naming then the number and position of the double bond or also a matter in the case of a unsaturated fatty acid okay the number of double bonds and the position of double bond what is the number of double bond and where is the where it is present that is also very very important and this position of the double bond is indicated by the lower number of two carbon atom involved in the doubling double bonding say for example oleic acid it has an 18 carbon atom with a and a single double bond it's a mono unsaturated fatty acid okay it has 18 carbon atom and double bond is 1 and that double bond is present between 8th and 9th carbon atom thus it is written as 18 is to 1 colon 9 what is the meaning there is 18 carbon atom and one double bond and the double bonds are present between 9 and 10 the first letter we will write that is 9 okay that is the meaning okay then similarly linoleic acid it has got 18 carbon atom and two double bond okay this we have already shown you here okay so mean uh, uh, th that is a uh, 18 carbon atom and uh, two double bonds also okay linoleic acid okay so that you can see and the double bonds are between 
the double bonds are between C9 and C12. Okay, here you can see the position number C9, the first double bond will start C9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, the 12th position, second double bond will start. Okay, thus it is known as 18 is to 2 colon 9 comma 12 okay what is the meaning of this linoic acid has 18 carbon atom and it has got two double bond and that double bonds are present in starting from position number 9 and position number 12 this is the nomenclature or we can written in another way also the alternative method here we can write the first uh, position of the double bonds in the numericals and then the total number of carbon atom uh, in the roman followed by suffix enoic acid okay so uh, the first uh, either this way you can write or the nomenclature this way you can write the first uh, position of the double bond then total number of carbon atom is present okay so for example in the case of oleic acid the first position of double bond is 9 and octa decanoic acid octa decanoic acid okay that is the oleic acid then linolenic acid linoleic acid 9 comma 12 that is 9th and 12th position are the double bond okay instead of last we can write first also 9 comma 12 octa octa deca dionic acid so that is also that is the way you can uh, uh, name the lipids and fatty acid and uh, now we are going to discuss what are saturated fatty acid their general formula is cnh2n plus 1 cooh these are uh, all common commonly present in all source contain a small amount of saturated fatty acid with an odd number of carbon at c52 through C70 okay saturated fatty acid mainly consisting of C75 to T17 odd number of carbon atom but in the case of animal fat I told you that is unsaturated probably the animal fat that is a palmitic acid and steric acid that is even number of carbon atoms C16 and C18 and these are the most abundantly found uh, main fatty acid okay and uh, in order to shorter the fatty acid we can call it as c14 and c12 okay c14 means that will be having uh, 12 uh, 14 carbon atom and c12 means 12 carbon atom and no longer than longer fatty acid like c20 c22 c24 c24 means that it has 24 carbon atom c22 means that it has 22 carbon atom then generally that is c16 comma okay c18 greater than c14 then c16 is the highest one then c18 greater than c14 then comes c12 okay then c20 c22 and c24 greater than c10 and less and so on is the saturated fatty acid so here you can see a table here the trivial name the systematic name the carbon skeleton and the structure and common source okay butyric acid so the, that is n butanoic acid is the name okay the so four butane means four carbon is present ch3 ch2 twice cooh that is commonly present in the butter this is a structure and uh, next one is caproic acid uh, this hexanoic acid okay six carbon atom is present ch3 ch2 four cooh coconut and palm oil that is commonly present similarly caprylic acid okay caprylic acid then that is octa oic acid that is eight octa means eight okay eight into is to zero okay then ch3 ch2 six cooh that is coconut and palm oil is commonly present then next one is capric acid then that is a decanoic acid that is 10 okay 10 is to zero that is ch3 ch2 eight cooh coconut oil and palm oil is commonly present and so on we are having lauric acid myristic acid palmitic acid is very very important hexadecanoic acid the 16 is the carbon skeleton ch3 then ch2 14 times cooh the animal and plant fat similarly stearic acid arachidonic acid and the bacinic acid then lignoceric acid a serotic acid and a mono 
tannic acid and so on okay their salts also it is commonly present you have to understand the table and you may get any question from this particular table okay then next one is unsaturated fatty acid unsaturated fatty acids are the fatty acid that consisting of double bond okay and uh, they are commonly classified based on the degree of unsaturation unsaturation means the presence of double bond okay so depending upon the number of double bond that can be classified into monoethanoid acid diethanoid acid triethanoid acid and tetraethanoid acid okay or monosaturated fatty acid disaturated fatty acid trisaturated fatty acid and tetrasaturated fatty acid and so on okay so monoethanoid acid that's consisting of only one double bond and uh, the general formula is cnh2n minus 1 co oil that is known as oleic acid okay and uh, the same component has two double bond that is di uh, ethanoic ethanoid acid that is cnh2n 3 co oh and linoleic acid then triethanoid acid that is three double bonds that is cnh2n 5 co oh then linoleic acid then the tetraethanoid acid that is four double bonds are present the cnh2n minus 7 co oh that is arachidonic acid and so on they all those components are having doubly bonded carbon atom then these are the common structure that is uh, crotonic acid that is 2 butanoic acid 4 is to 1 2 that is 4 carbon atom position number 1 and position number 2 there are double bond okay that is the ch3 ch2 between that is a ch triple bond ch3 coh okay that is crotonin oil okay next one uh, uh, mystolonic acid okay so that is 9 tetra decanoic acid 14 is to 1 is to 9 okay that means 14 carbon atom okay the position number 1 1 uh, double bonds okay that is starting from 9 here also 4 carbon atom 1 double bond starting from 2 you as you can see here okay then here palmitic acid 9 hexan decanoic acid okay that also has 16 double bond 16 carbon atom total number is 16 there is a only one double bond and you can see uh, that is present in ninth position that is animal and plant fat similarly oleic acid hexenic acid linolenic acid okay here that is interesting example 9 toma, uh, comma 12 octadecanoidic acid and 18 is to 2 2 colon 9 comma 2 what is the meaning the total 18 carbon atom and it two double bond this one and this one and that is present in ninth position and the twelfth portion okay lens uh, linseed and cotton seed oil that is commonly present okay then another example is here you can see arachidonic acid total six twenty carbon atoms are there and it is a uh, there are four bonds one two three four four bonds that is starting from five for fifth position then eighth position eleventh position and fourteenth position okay like that you will be able to see the structure okay so this is the way how the, that is a uh, named the common the nomenclature of common unsaturated fatty acid is uh, given then then the next type of fatty acid that is we have discussed hydroxy or oxidated fatty acid okay that is commonly very rarely found okay that is commonly found in castor oil okay that is uh, uh, resinoloic acid that has a C18 acid, C18 carbon atom and the double bond between C9 and, uh, and a hydroxyl group uh, on the C12, okay. Double bond is there and there is an attachment of hydroxyl group, okay, at the 12th position. That is what is known as hydroxy or oxygenated fatty acid. We have discussed yesterday. And another example is, here you can see renicylonic acid, okay. So, here CH3, CH2, 5 times CH, that is what I told you on the, uh, in the, in the second, in the 14th, uh, 12th portion there is hydroxyl group okay so so that is the uh, uh, the structure okay then uh, this is 1 2 hydroxy octadonic 9 enoic acid then similarly cerebronic acid that is c24 acid obtained from animal lipid that is another important hydroxy i mean acid with a hydroxyl group at a c second portion okay so this is the first second portion of the uh, CH 
there is hydroxyl group that is cerebronic acid okay this these are the hydroxyl or oxygenated fatty acids they are very simple in addition to normal fatty acid there will be hydroxyl or a OH group will be present then the next one is cyclic fatty acid so that is the cyclic fatty acid as i said is very rare okay so that is commonly very rare that is not obviously that is not common and here you can see uh, chowl mugra oil that is one of the most important oil that is obtained from a plant that is used to treat that, that can uh, an anti uh, bacterial property that can be treated the leprosy caused by mycobacterium leprae okay which contain two acid okay uh, hydno carpic acid and uh, chalmo uh, orgic acid okay uh, that is known as uh, main uh, chowl mo mogra oil okay chowl mogra anic oil okay so chowl mogra anic acid and uh, uh, that that which has a cyclo pentanyl ring okay and uh, it is in 18 carbon structure okay here we can see uh, main that uh, uh, chowl mogric acid here you can say ring system total there is a 18 carbonate if you count you will be able to find 18 carbonate similarly another acid i told you uh, hit no carpic acid hit no carpic acid okay so here you can see that it has a also this many number and this is the structure okay and this is almost the same okay same structure only difference is here is 10 repetition but here it is 12 repetition the next one is uh, then the certain lipids are commonly present in lactobacilli which concern a fatty acid called a uh, lactobacillus acid okay lactobacillic acid okay that which is a cyclopropyne group okay so this all the things are uh, four membered ring okay five membered ring okay so here it is a uh, one two three four okay four membered ring and here it's a three membered ring okay so here you can see three membered ring ch3 ch25 ch ch and you can see this this is commonly shared okay that is known as lactobacillic acid that is very important lactobacillus is a gram positive bacteria that is commonly present in our body as a probiotic okay that one that can produce fatty acid as well then with this we'll conclude uh, the fats and fatty acid and the nomenclature whatever we have discussed once again we can uh, a glance through what are the major points studied in this particular unit the unit was begins with the brief introduction of lipids what are lipids and uh, what are the fundamental aspects of lipids how fats are classified okay based on saturation okay monosaturated and uh, polysaturated okay then similarly saturated saturated under unsaturated mono unsaturated and poly unsaturated then there are examples also then saturated fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acid we have discussed then in unsaturated fatty acid there is mono unsaturated fatty acid and poly unsaturated fatty acid omega-3 fatty acids are excellent uh, example then we have discussed the classification of lipids simple lipids compound lipids and derived uh, lipids and there are uh, different classes then the naming of lipid how we will be naming okay based on the number of the position of the double bond the number of carbon atom and uh, where the double bond is present then the saturated fatty acid how it is naming saturated fatty acid and common commonly found in natural fats that we have discussed the unsaturated fatty acid that is commonly found in the nature okay then the common unsaturated fatty acid also we have discussed then the hydroxy or oxygenated fatty acids also we have discussed then cyclic fatty acid also we have discussed this all those classification uh, saturated unsaturated hydroxy and cyclic all those things we have discussed in the previous class so this is all the uh, main topics dear students today's class so you can obviously refer uh, principles of biochemistry by leninger okay that's where one of the best uh, book okay and one more textbook biochemistry by jail jane that is very good uh, textbook okay in fact that is not mentioned in your syllabus that is one of the best uh, book apart from all those things you can uh, refer this textbooks also okay so thank you very much for uh, i mean listening this particular class if you are having any clarification you can uh, ask uh, me okay thank you very much thanks a lot